Greetings everyone, what is up? It's me again, Tim Prime, one with another video review. If you all this video reviews, we based upon the Transformers Studio Series Voyager class version of Bone Crusher. Known as who it's called Rampage, but I'm calling him Bone Crusher for right now, okay? Because like EW does have the Bone Crusher style of uh, from, from from like the Gen 1 stuff. So yeah. Like with this guy right here, I will say this. Um, well, first things first, uh, as soon as they had announced the, um, Studio Series Devastator, I was very anxious to, to actually grab these guys up, and this guy was the first guy that I saw on the shelf, and one thing I had to do was like, yoink, yoink, maybe I'll, I'll just like, yoink, like, I grabbed him up, and I purchased him, because, like, quite frankly, they finally began coming out with the Studio Series Devastator, like, I'd say at least, I, I'm guessing, a, a, at least, um, wait, it's like, at least a year, well, less than a year, I, well, yeah, at least a year, before they came on out with the Studio Series Devastator, and I must say this, they did a really great job in this guy, I'm really liking what they did, but I will also say this, I cannot wait until they come on out with the Devil Savior version of him, um, I can't remember what his name is. It's not Lancelot. That one's gonna be based off of, um, oh crap, uh, Scrapper. But, um, with, but, like, I can't wait until, like, they release the, uh, I can't wait until, like, the, um, Devil Savior version of him is released, because, like, I really want to try and grab him on up real fast. I really do. And if you're all wondering, I'll show him real briefly. Just give me one quick second. I do have him. I do have their version of Mixmaster. And yeah, I will say this. He's a, he is tough to transform! But yeah, like, with this version of um, Bone Crusher right here, they did a really fantastic job. I'm really loving it. I'm, I really like what they did with him right here, except for this piece right here, like the back panel right here. Like, I honestly wish they would have like probably expanded out a little bit so that you could have put a door in here so that you could flip it on up and then fold this on down because this does help to form like the remainder of his vehicle. He is a little lopsided, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. But yeah, with this vehicle mode, they did a really, really great job. And I will say this, I know I am missing one of these over here. I believe I must have lost that like at the old place that we were living at. But quite frankly, like, I'm glad, but quite frankly, at least I still have this one little smokestack right here. I don't know how to rep replace it or anything, but like, um, if there is one on eBay, I might replace it for, to put on this side right here, but I have to find an opposite version of this one right here. Cause you can definitely tell the difference between these two. Like there is this little, I think like a little lip right here on the outside, which I need to find one that's the opposite of that one. But yeah, like, with this version of, of Rampage they came on out with, of Bone Crusher they came on out with, they definitely did a good job of him. They definitely really did a fantastic job. And like, he's a little lopsided. Hang on for some reference. Like, like, he does feel a little lopsided. Like, I think I might have gotten him, yeah. And also, if you can tell, like, he has wheels under here, and you can definitely see his head. And like you can roll him, he can roll fairly well. He can roll, he can roll fairly well. Like he only has two wheels in the back and one wheel up front. The wheel right there can, is a part of the transformation. Yeah. Like a transformation can make right there, as we all as we all know. But like with this guy, you can definitely roll him around. He's definitely really good. They did a really good job. I do love the paint color they gave him, and I also know they came out all out with um, Skipjack as well. I'll get down him somewhere later on down the line. And also, as we all know, they gave both him and Skipjack a little stand. A little stand. And actually, for my mentioning, well, Skipjack right now is combined with Devastator, so yeah, I'll definitely get down to him later on down the line, just to introduce him. But right now, let's go. But right now, I want to show you all where y'all can store this in his vehicle mode. Storing his vehicle mode is plain. It's pretty simple. Let's go ahead. Here we go. Untap that. Untap that. It has been a hot minute since I've actually transformed these guys, especially on my very busy schedule. Go ahead and tap this on in. Go ahead. There we go. 
go. There we go. Put this on down. Oh. There we go. I had to retap that back in. Oh crap! That one's messed up a little bit. Hang on for a second. Give me one quick second, and there we go. Sorry about that. That's how you can store that down there in his vehicle mode. This is actually Skipjacks. The other one I have of him either is in what I have behind me or, or it is somewhere in my in the in the old place that we, we were at. But yeah, um the old place we were at was I'll admit was my dad's place. But yeah, like with him, this is a really good vehicle mode right here. They did a really great job with the overall depth and detail of him. I do have Rampage, I do have his other version, but he's somewhere in here. I'll bring him on out as soon as I have, like, as soon as I do a video review on Skipjack as well. But yeah, like, with him, I really do like what they did. It's a pretty decent job. Pretty decent. So, also, you can also see his little fingers right here. Like, I think they did that so that way it looks like he can plow stuff right here. It looks like he can plow stuff right here. But, like, this, uh, but his two hands right here. But like these parts of his hands right here stay back here for like his not only his alt mode but also his robot mode. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at his robot mode, shall we? Transformation is plain, it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and just remove these right here, pull this on out. These this does tab in the two these two little slots down the bottom. Let me go ahead and pull this on forward and just untab this. Yeah, these slots, yeah, these slots. We'll go into these tabs right here for his for in his vehicle mode. Now this right here, what you want to do is go ahead and take this. There we go. This up just ever so slightly, just ever so slightly. Now I want to go ahead and oh, almost forgot. You have to take this right here and untab it. There we go. Rotate that on up. Put it on this side. Come on, there we go. Take on down. We take that on up. There we go. Now this is all loose, so you can now fold his arms back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and work on the lower section. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, oh, hang on for a second. I'll be right. I'm gonna do something. This is the one thing I almost forgot to do. I want to do a size comparison real fast of him with Optimus Prime, and I must say a pretty good size comparison. This is something I. I knew something was nudging at me. I knew it. I guess it's because I need to get used to like doing this right here. But yeah, like you have Optimus Prime right next to him. Pretty decent size comparison, although still they could have like scaled Optimus up a little bit more just so that way he could be a bit more realistic with these guys right here. Or maybe they could have just toned this guy down a tad bit. I'm not for sure. I'm more going with toning this Optimus Prime up a bit, especially since they did that with him back in the previous lines of the of the movies, like of the of like his Voyager class versions. So yeah, pretty decent size comparison. Optimus Prime, like he's a tad longer. Like like looking over here, he's just a tad longer than Bone Crusher. Just a tad longer. But Bone Crusher definitely has the height on him. He definitely has the height. So yeah, that's a pretty decent size comparison right there. Pretty decent. So I'll just go and get down to the transformation again, shall we? Okay, I've already put Blood Bone, Bone Crusher back into like the mode that he was in perform before. So what you want to go ahead and do next is go ahead and take these panels, just flip them up, no tabbing, and they just fit in there snug as a bug in a rug. I'll go ahead and come on over here. Take this. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to. I forgot to pull this on out right here. Yeah, just go ahead and pull these back on out right here real fast. And now go ahead and take this right here. Flip this on up right there. Take this. Rotate it on down on him. There we go. Now, what you're going to go ahead and do is like with this right here. Go ahead and rotate this up and around all the way around until you get it to right about there. Try and get this, like, I think this will stay right here. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Get it all the way around. 
And I will say this, I really do like this one gimmick they included right here. This, this is really awesome they did, was by including this little finger piece right here as a part of his vehicle mode. So you can rotate it on around and just do it like that right there. Really awesome. Same goes, same right over here. Rotate it around. There we go. Yeah. This arm is loose for some reason. I'm not for sure why. But yeah, it's going like that, like that right there. Also, for these little parts right here, like, I'm going to show you all this real fast. Two in here are two little slots that one top will go in. One, the top slot is for his, is for his, um, Vehicle mode, these bottom slides for his robot mode. So, what you want to do is push this all the way down and tap that into place in the bottom tab. Same with this one over here. Go ahead and untap that, push it down ever so slightly, and push it into place. There we go. And now I and and go ahead with this piece right here, stick this post into the into the little in, into the slot down below. Hang on for a second. There we go. And voila, Bone Crusher is now in his robot mode. And I must say, they did a really great job with him. They did a fantastic job. I am really digging what they do with him. The overall depth and detail on him, especially with like the molded detail right down here and all over. Really great, really fantastic. Really loving that right there. And I must say this, like, I will say that I do wish they would have given him, like, at least a couple of weapons to, um, put on his little hands and possibly storage in his vehicle mode, but they did not give him any weapons for his hands like, like he does in the movie. So I do find that as a bit of a downgrade right there, but, like, what all they did was, like, they definitely gave him his whips right here. They definitely did a pretty good job at that. But like as we all know, like here is the is the transformation gimmick. Excuse me for when you transform him into his like his leg mode, and like with articulation wise, right now for him you can rotate his arms up and down, front and back with a limited amount of possibility. And, and like these don't have that much of of a, and like these are limited as well over here on this side. Same with on this side too. Like, not much possibility except you can rotate this other way, but, like, this right here is also used for, like, the, his, like, his ankle tilt rotation. You can also see, like, the bit of it right here in, like, his vehicle, his, like, his vehicle mode right there. So you can, like, rotate it in his vehicle mode. But, yeah, a really nice looking figure. I really do like what they did with him. And, like, his arms can come on out, but, like... This arm, I don't know how, but this arm got loose, like, uh, this arm got a, a bit loose, and I'm going to adjust the camera angle a little bit, so that way we can try to get Bone Crusher into full view, and I'm also going to pull him off to the side real fast to pose him with Optimus. Okay, I'm going to try to fix him up a little bit, there we go, and I must say, um, these two in robot mode are... Are about the same size, but I believe that movie Optimus would be definitely be taller. He would definitely be like a good bit taller. I know they're trying to get like realistic with these guys, but to be realistic with Op a bit more realistic with Optimus, he would have to be a little bit bigger. So they, yeah, they definitely should have scaled Optimus up a little bit more, just so that way he would have been more movie proportion for Bone Crusher right here. I'm guessing, like, for his combined form with Jetfire, they decided to hold off on... They decided to, like, just make him smaller. But still, yeah, a, a pretty good size comparison, I'd say. A pretty decent size com sizable comparison. It's just that I do wish they would have made him a little bit, like, boom on up. I know that um, Wei Zhang has done the same thing with Optimus by just, by just upscaling him, but they did it with, like, his first version. Never gonna get that one. Trust me, I'm not gonna get that one. But yeah, with this right here, they did a really good job. They did a really good job with both these guys right here. They did a fantastic job with the both of them. I'm going to take them on out now. Suck a punch! Actually, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, 
with Bone Crusher right here, they did a really great job. I also love the little details in his little face. They did a really good job of the details in his face, like in, in his head sculpt. And like his head is on, let me check it on out real fast. It's on a bit of a ball joint. So like he has a good bit of posability. You can even turn his head upside down. Like, what are you doing right there? Why are you upside down? And like he does have a lot, you can like go like hit with his neck. You can just go up and down with his neck right there. Like, not much possibility with that right there. But yeah, pretty decent figure. I definitely would recommend picking him on up if he's still available at this point. But like, if you can't find him, maybe you can find him on maybe eBay or maybe like maybe somewhere on BigBadToyStore.com, maybe TF Source or anywhere that they can possibly find him or maybe on RobotKingdom.com or, or I'd say probably just try eBay, just like eBay. That's my, that's my, that's your best bet right there in case if he's not available anywhere else. Okay, and so, I'd say that this would do it for this guy, because I don't, because I, because there's nothing, because I, I, because like, quite frankly, this is, they, well, yeah, this is definitely it for this guy right here. So, if you all enjoyed this video, go ahead, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to both me and Wishmaker, and also, Leave me a comment in the comment section below, and also look for me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Discord, Instagram, and so on. Until next time, everyone, I'm Tim Parmon. I'll be signing off right now, so peace out.